Hi everybody! So I thought I'd just go through my makeup routine with you this morning but I'll just let you know what I've done to start if so I've had a shower and then every time I get out of the shower I just sort of bung my hair up in like some top knot top knot <laughs> a top knot so that I can get to my face easy do my makeup and stuff like that um because I hate having my hair in my face while I'm trying to do my makeup um I moisturized my legs with it's I got this from a parent at work so I thought I'd give it a go and it's really cool it's like this moisturizer but it's got like cream and gel and it's it's like all mixed together and I thought it looked really cool so yeah it's um from boots it's a natural collection mango and papaya body cream so I used that I'm not too sure what I think of it to be honest it felt really weird when I was applying it but um my legs feel quite smooth now so I don't know I'll give it a go for a couple more days and see what I think um obviously deodorant I'm out of my normal deodorant so I'm using this like little um like handbag sized deodorant thing which is like Nivea Pearl 48 hour protection so there's that and then after that I just put on my perfume and um I use Gucci Rush it's quite pricey but I really like the smell of it and yeah it comes in this really cute little box and then the actual perfume itself is in like this box thing so quite posh <laughs> so yeah I do that and I got myself dressed and now I'm ready to do my makeup so here goes <laughs> and if I'm looking over there it's because my mirror's there and I need to check what I'm doing so first of all oh in the winter I moisturise my face because it gets quite dry sort of back round by my nose and sometimes my forehead and on my chin and it gets quite itchy but in the summer I find my skin's more oily so I don't need to moisturise as much so I sort of moisturise I don't know every two or three days um my face so I've did that a couple of days ago so I don't think I'll be doing the moisturising today um I don't wear foundation I used to wear foundation but I found it made me quite spotty and it clogged up my pores so I um went cold turkey on the um, foundation for a good week and then my spots completely cleared up and I haven't really used it since then unless I'm going out on a night out so um, yeah for my face I literally just use powder and I use the Max Factor cream puff and I've got quite um, fair skin so I use um, the Truly Fair colour so I literally just apply that all over my face I was um, at nursery yesterday, I was washing all the children's hands and just above the sink is like a cupboard and it's in a really bad place because every time you bend down to help them wash their hands because they can't do it by themselves because they're only two you whack your head on the corner of the cupboard and I've got the biggest bump here, you can't see it on the camera but it hurts so much and I banged it twice and I was like trying not to cry it hurt that much but <laughs> so yeah, just to get an even coverage. The main reason I use powder really is not because I want to cover up imperfections, but it's to take the shine off my face. So, and also I, I tend to put some down my neck as well, because I hate when people get makeup lines. It's horrible. <laughs> that's my powder done and then I use um, blush and for the blush I use um, blush by Bergeois Paris and it's a sort of pinky colour um, I don't normally go for pinks I like I'm I tend to go for more bronzy colours because it seems to suit my skin tone more but for blush I do like using a bit of pink to give me a rosy look um, got like a little mirror I don't tend to use it but yeah that's the colour I'm running out so I'm going to need to get some more um what colour is it 33 Lilas Dior do you know what I'm guys I'm no makeup expert and I'm no professional so 
I'm no good with names and I don't even know if I'm applying it right but this is just how I do it and it seems to work for me and I don't think I'm too bad at doing makeup hair on the other hand I'm the complete opposite I can't do my hair to save my life but it's just blow dry and straighten it so yeah makeup I think I'm okay at <laughs> but yeah don't judge me so yeah I literally apply it to this brush it's a it says blush brush 15 and it's by Esther Lauder Esther Lauder I think that's how you say it so, yeah it's actually just a blush brush and then I apply it to my cheekbone area just to give me more chiselled look and to give me a healthy glow <laughs> One second, I just got to pause at my mum's. Um, sorry, guys. My mum started talking to me. She was telling me about the trampolining is on in the Olympics downstairs. And yeah, I can't obviously watch it because I'm filming for you guys. But yeah, um, literally just applying it to my cheekbones. I'm running out of battery, so I need to do this kind of quick. But yeah, so that's the blush done. Then I use this lipstick. It's I don't know what make this lipstick is. I borrowed it off my mum because it's a really nice colour. Yeah. Sort of. That colour. So I just put it on. And then um, I think it looks a bit too much when I first put it on, so I tend to blend it out with my finger a bit. For my eye makeup, I use the same make eyeshadow as I do blush. It's the Bergeois Polaris one again, and this time it's sort of like a bronzy, browny, glittery kind of colour. So that, and then I use the same makeup brush but a eyeshadow brush, which is this one, and it's sort of like a um, slanted brush. So yeah. I apply it generously to the brush and for when I do my eye makeup I do I hold a compact mirror because I find I need to look up close when I'm doing it so apply it to the whole eyelid not going up too high And then I get quite a harsh line around there, so I tend to blend it out with my finger a little bit. So that eye's done, you can see the difference. Same on the other eye. When I've done my makeup, I'll show you my outfit of the day. There's something I shoved on together. I thought I'd try it out, I don't know if it looks that great to be honest, but hey hi. And then I'm blend it out again with my finger. Even them up a bit, there's more on the other eye, so. Yeah, so that's my eyeshadow done. As you can see there. Um, now on to eyeliner. I don't ever tend to really just put on mascara without any eyeshadow and eyeliner just because I do know I like my eyes to pop so I don't like they don't really do that when I don't put that much makeup on my eyes and I like my eyes to stand out and I want it to be like sort of the main feature of my face so for eyeliner um by the time I, I bought this and got it home um I realized that it wasn't actually an eyeliner it was a lip liner um, but it works just as well. I don't tend to use lip liner unless I'm going out. But yeah, it works just as well as lip, as um, normal eyeliner. And actually, it applies. So my camera ran out of battery. So now I'm just gonna finish off where I um, left off. So yeah, eyeliner. 
I don't know what I was saying in my last where it cut off so I'm just going to go with it and um, yeah so I literally apply it from the corner of my eye to that corner of my eye on top take it out a little bit at the side to elongate my eyes and then take it from the corner halfway I find if you take it halfway it makes your eyes look bigger than if you take it the whole way around and then I also do my waterline from the corner to halfway so yeah again using my compact mirror Taking it out of the corner and the bottom to halfway. And then I do my waterline. So I can't do this with um, just one hand, so I have to put it down with one hand and then go from there to there. That's one eye down with eyeliner, and then to the next eye. Sorry if my hand's blocking the view of what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to do it without doing that. <laughs> yeah. And taking it out of that corner. And then underneath to halfway. Sorry if you can hear a rooster. I don't live on a farm or anything, but people a couple of doors down decided that they would get a rooster. And it doesn't just do it in the morning, it does it all day long. <laughs> yeah, so sorry about that if you can hear that. And again. <laughs> and then the water line. Like so. So that's my eyeliner done. That thing needs to seriously shut up. <laughs> And then for my mascara, I use Virgil's Paris again. I don't know. I didn't even realise I get so much makeup from the same sort of make. But yeah, so it's um, Virgil's Paris. It's Volume Glamour Ultra Black Mascara. It's not waterproof because I find waterproof is just so difficult to take off. I feel like I'm ripping my eyelashes out because I could put quite a bit on because I like it to have lots of volume. When it comes to taking it off, it's so hard so I just use normal to proof mascara and it's um black and this is what the brush looks like and again I use my contact mirror because I'm doing my eyes and I like it to be up close I start with this eye I don't just use this flat side I also tend to use a tip to separate the lashes as well I'm actually running out so I'm going to need to get some more soon. Um, I've had a request to do um, makeup hauls as well so if I buy any more makeup I will let you know what I get and then let you know what I think of it. I've been using this one for quite a while now. Oh great. I've got it on my eyelid. That hardly ever happens. Do you know what? It's because I'm filming isn't it? I decided it would do it. If that happens, I take a cotton bug, lick the end a bit, and then just because it's not waterproof, it comes off straight away. Like that. And it's like nothing's ever happened, see? <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's that. You can see the difference between the one with mascara and the one without it. The other eye. Let me just check this is recording in two seconds. Yep. <laughs> How bad would that have been if it wasn't recording? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> carrying on. I would have had to have like taken my makeup off back to the step that I cut off before and that would have been such a nightmare.
Me and my mum have managed to get through two boxes of chocolate together. And then on top of that, me and my friends munched on another box of chocolates last night, so yeah. I'm thinking I need to cut all the rubbish out my diet bad because it's not doing me any good. Yeah, I just keep going over them to get give you volume. Um make sure it's kind of dry before you put another layer on, otherwise you just keep sort of moving all the mascara about that you've already got on your eyelashes. So yeah. So that's the tops done. And I know some people don't do the bottom ones but I think it kind of looks weird on me, so I definitely do the bottom ones as well. I don't tend to put as much on the bottom as I do on the top, but I like to do it because it makes my eyes stand out a bit more. There's that one. See a difference? And this one. While the camera battery was charging when it ran out, I went downstairs and watched the trampolining. Canada won gold. China won silver. And bronze. And we got nothing. <laughs> but well done to Canada and China. But the UK are third on the medal board at the moment, so get in there <laughs> um, wish everyone in the Olympics good luck every country They're all doing very well and then so that's my mascara done sorry I'm just rambling now um, I use just a comb I really should get an eyebrow brush but I don't have one so for now I'm just using a comb and I just quickly brush my eyebrows to make all the hairs go in the same direction and then I dab my finger, make it a little bit wet and that gets like the excess powder off and then helps them to grow in the right direction. And then that's my makeup done guys. So I hope that makeup tutorial was helpful. Um, I'm just going to dry my hair now. I'll film a little bit of that because I'm sure you won't want, me to, want to watch me dry the whole of my hair because it will take a long time and then I'll quickly run the hair straighteners over it just to get a few kinks out and then I will show you my outfit of the day right bye hi guys so I tend to dry my hair upside down because it gives my hair more volume and then it dries the roots in a different way so that it when it's back the right way it um yeah gives it more volume so yeah <laughs> you get the picture yeah so I'll film a bit more in a minute bye so my hair's done I literally just finished drying it and straightening it so now I will show you my outfit of the day um because I'm just gonna be bumming around the house and I'm not going out anywhere I didn't put much jewelry on I've literally got um that gold ring which I don't ever take off because it was my nan's and it was passed down to me after she passed away so I wear that all the time I never take it off um, I haven't put any earrings in I've just got those little diamonds that they're special I never take them out either my mum bought those for me for passing my GCSEs god know how many years ago um, I've got two holes but I can't be bothered to put anything in the first hole because I'm literally like I said just bumming around the house um, and then I've got this little bracelet on it's just really delicate it's got um, blue and white pearls and a little gold chain and then my outfit is um, a blue top from Primark with a Peter Pan collar and it's got these really nice little details on it don't know if you can see that can you see that? Yeah, little silver pointers on the collar. Just adds a little bit of detail. Then it's got a white bit down the front, and I've just tucked it into a top. So that's from Primark. 
look, it's, you know, sometimes Primark does some really nice stuff, so can't fault Primark. Really cheap as well, and it looks really nice. So that top, which I've just tucked into this skirt, um, it's a high-waisted skirt with buttons all the way down the front, and it's um, a light denim, and that's from Miss Selfridge. So yeah, that's my outfit. I'm from the back. And then for shoes, I'll just put on some flip flops with this probably, but I'm not going out. So yeah, that is my outfit. I hope you've enjoyed this video and getting ready with me in the mornings. And if you want to see sort of more makeup stuff or any more outfits of the days, I'm more than happy to make it for you. And I might also do a video tomorrow of doing my makeup blind, which should be a laugh. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching. Bye.